It can be a terrifying phone call. Someone claiming to be an investigator says you owe thousands of dollars and you'll be arrested if you don't pay up. But the I-Team finds it's all just a scam, a con that more and more people are falling victim to. Investigative reporter Scott Knoll is here now with more on that. Scott? Greg Lisa, they call themselves investigators and litigators and work for companies with official sounding names. Not only will they call and threaten you, but also your relatives, even old bosses. All of it aimed at getting you to pull out your debit card and pay for a loan you never even took. The calls are intimidating. This is Special Investigator Aaron Tate. I'm contacting you in regards to a complaint being filed against you. I think they're just flat out trying to hurt people and rip them off. The threats attention grabbing. You've been named a respondent in a court action and must appear. He was saying that we're going to come to your office. But the tough talk. You or your attorney will have 24 to 48 hours. Disappears when the 11 News I team shows up. Why is everybody leaving? If you guys aren't doing anything wrong, why is everybody leaving? Patrick Gagan says he knows. They're defrauding these people out of, their, out of their money that they need to survive. Because one day he got one of those calls. They were criminal investigators or court officers stating that they have um, warrants and or court proceedings against me. That he would soon find himself behind bars, supposedly because he owed money on a payday loan. The only problem, Gagan had no idea what they were talking about. And I said, well, I need proof of this. They will not send me proof. They've never sent me proof. So who was calling him? A mysterious, supposedly Texas-based company called Allied Litigation Group. They just keep demanding money or saying they're getting warrants for my arrest. And they've been calling consumers across the country. The same threats, hoping to cash in on fear. Very aggressive, very threatening, you know, very angry. The message, pay up for a payday loan this Fort Bend County woman says she never took or face charges. We're with the litigation group and I'm thinking, no. This does not sound legit at all. It turns out she was right. That's because the Better Business Bureau has labeled Allied Litigation Group a phony debt collector, a bogus company that somehow gets just enough of your private information to sound believable and then demand big bucks for something you don't know. Well, this is a nationwide problem that we've seen happen across the United States. Monica Russo is with the Houston BBB. In Texas, you have to be registered and bonded with the Secretary of State to uh, legally collect debts. And there's no sign any of that's happened here. No sign of that. In fact, Russo says, as is typical with these so-called businesses. The truth is, we really don't know who they are. We don't even have uh, much contact information for this company. And it appears from looking at complaints, they refused to provide it. In fact, all the company would give consumers was a Houston P.O. box. But the I-Team quickly learned. I don't know how it linked to that P.O. box. I have no idea. That box belongs to a Houston police officer. With you coming to me, that's my first of my knowledge what's going on. He had no idea who Allied Litigation Group was or why he was getting their mail. Mostly consumer complaints and letters from lawyers. When you see this, it never raised a red flag? Yes, I talked to the postal people like, hey, but see, like I said, it's not concerned me, I had no idea what it was. I don't open other people's mail because that's what federal violation, right? So our next step, tracing Allied Litigation Group's phone number. It appeared to be out of Fort Bend County, but turns out because of technology, the calls could really be coming from anywhere. So we went to the company that consumers claim processes payments, not only for Allied Litigation Group, but other collection agencies with their own stacks of complaints from people all over the country which brought us to Cleveland, Ohio and Pinnacle Payment Service, now a part of Credit Source Plus, according to this email to the local Better Business Bureau. But when we showed up, no one wanted to stick around. Why is everybody leaving? If you guys aren't doing anything wrong, why is everybody leaving? Names seem to be a problem, too. Who do you guys call and pretend to be? Well, I'll try to be Michael Jackson every day. Well, what's your name? I don't have a name. You don't have a name? No, I don't. You don't think that's unusual? That's so incorrect. Leader. Finally, we get a chance to talk to the manager. Are you guys collecting money from people for phony that's debts? That's not what I do. Well, what do you do? Do you guys make calls, Please. process payments for allied litigation? Oh, sir, did you just understand that I'm not having a good day? And neither are people all across the country who say these companies are taking advantage of them. Well, Why won't you just stop and answer questions? Because I don't have to. I do not have to talk to you.
That manager insisted, despite this email to the BBB, that Pinnacle Payment had no connection to her company. Now, if you get a call about a debt, real or phony, you do have rights. Federal law says the collector has to verify that debt in writing. Also, beware of giving out any sort of personal information until you're absolutely certain who you're dealing with. For more tips, check out this story at KHOU.com. Reporting live, I'm Scott Knoll, KHOU 11 News.